Hey everybody, it's time! Kick some more Eggman ass! There's no more time. We have to break into the fortress now. Indeed, this is it! Our last opportunity to bring peace back into the world! But when the battle ends, we'll have to part with Sonic. I mean this Sonic, won't we? Tells you were freaking upset that your your Sonic was dead. You went through a mental breakdown. Then you met other Sonic and what? Fell in love with his other Sonics. So you're like, screw my Sonic. I want to give this Sonic. He's so much more bearable because he doesn't speak. Yes. If the Phantom Ruby is gone, I guess he'll be returned to his dimension. Thank you for everything, Sonic. I'll never forget what you did for us. Save the sentiments for later. Thumbs up. This is not over yet. We still have a battle to fight. Yeah, we're almost near the end of this exactly. game. Exactly. This is I our think. last chance. You Probably. Stitch to five. That looks fun. Let's go! Oh, damn. I guess we are at the end. Shadow. Nice, Silver. Hey, Infinite. Long time no see. Did you miss me? Why, yes, I did. I've been looking forward to finishing you with your annoying friend. I trust you're all ready for oblivion. If you're not, oh well. <gasps> what? Who dares? He's back! Extermination mode initiated. Payback inevitable. Omega, you've joined us? Awesome. Is there no end to these annoying insects? I will burn your resistance to ashes, and you along with it. Whoa, you gotta be kidding! That's just a special effect, right? No, it's not! While we're under the Phantom Ruby's control, it's a part of our reality! Unbelievable! What chance do we have against that? The sun will fall upon you all. Boom! The end! It no, fall on you too, Eggman! Dude, you're gonna die too! Look, it's reacting! Eggman said something about the Phantom Ruby prototypes. Let me oh, see. now we freaking Really? Now? Uh, oh, whatever. Oh, it is! He said the Phantom Ruby prototypes only react to the person who activated it. That must be you, buddy! Hmm? Your courage and heroism I've been are reformed to buddy now. triggered it! Just maybe. If you use this, it can make that sun disappear. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not even called Rookie anymore. I'm called Buddy. What is this song? Kind of like it. I mean, I know it's talking about how the sun's gonna fall down and kill us all, but I still like the beat so far. Like the way it sounds? Yeah, but it has begun. Oh, there we go. It's picking up now. Yeah! Come on, guys, I'll save you all. need to fight fire with fire. If you can get close enough to that sun, the prototype should cancel out the effect. You'll be burnt to a crisp before then. Give it up, rookie! Fall back! Never! I don't know why I really like the song. Yeah, I like the fact that there's a song talking about how we're all gonna die. Yeah, check my music taste. What can I wall jump out of nowhere? 
It's all up to the rookie now. Chances of success. I died so the world ended. Kind <laughs> of hard to think about. I'm angry that I missed that. I'm angry at myself, really. And I don't know what happened. <laughs> Again? The music can't even pick up because how fast I keep dying. There we go. I'm just going a bit too fast. I guess. I keep landing on the place. All right, let's hear about how the sun's gonna fall on us and kill us. What is that? Oh dear! Oh my! Oh frick! <laughs> I don't like that. I'm dead. I have to go fast, but I lose control so easy. Oh, I guess I have to blast to get momentum again. I don't know. Uh, uh. Wow! How? I don't know. I made it though. Is it weird how everybody kind of just gave up hope? Like even Sonic doesn't even bother to like be like, yeah, we can totally do it. You think you can stop the sun? Burn up like a moth drawn to a flame. It's over. You're a real soldier now, rookie. But you can do this. Except call me rookie and call me buddy like everyone else. Damn it. Come on. Show everyone what you're made of. Come on, you can make it! Oh, now you guys are giving encouragement. Before you were all like, dude, it, it's the end of the world. I did it. I saved the world! Maybe, I don't know. We gotta fight Infinite and defeat him, so. Six that he tries. Because I don't know how to control my own speed. Nice. our advantage and kick major butt oh all right still goes hey you can play shadow no you can't 
beat the game. Then you can play a shadow. Why would I want to do that? That must have used up a ton of energy. Phantom Ruby should be weaker now. This is our only chance to defeat Infinite. All ships, provide backup to Sonic and the others. Draw the enemy's attention and shield them from damage. Literally, what was the point of Classic Sonic? There was no point to him whatsoever. All hands, maintain altitude and assemble a tight formation. Sonic's team is our last hope. We have to protect them. Whoops. A huge enemy force is closing fast. We're falling under attack. Keep an eye on them. Don't let them get near. Every second we can buy for Sonic counts. Second phrase is so many lives for this. Ship three took a direct hit to the bridge. They're falling back. Ship seven has been crippled by heavy fire. Evacuate the flagship. All hands abandon ship. Sorry, Sonic. We've done all we can. Good luck out there. You did plenty already. Leave the rest to us. be fine without classic sonic i just thought i know what was like the train of thought when they added classic sonic to this honestly also i don't know if it's me but i feel like a lot of sections in this game like a lot of parts felt kind of rushed i don't know if it's just me that kind of feels that way but it kind of feels like some parts were kind of rushed and also could have would have liked to see more of the fight scene, you know, when everyone was fighting the clones of the other old bosses. Oh, it's an infinite fight. The final one! The final frontier! Even with the Phantom Ruby weakened, I still have enough power to smash you into blue jelly. I'll show you how outclassed you really are. I'm in a class all my own. Time to put up or shut up, Infinite. Oh, damn, Sonic. Final battle, I think. Maybe. Oh. What would you like your epitaph to read? How about, Here lies the blue buffoon. Why not? Here doses the masked clown. Might as well make it for the person who needs one, right? Why do all bosses seem bigger than they really are? Like now infinite seems humongous while Sonic seems tiny. Oh, I was so confused what happened. The Phantom Ruby's energy is recharged. <laughs> Perish along with your useless friends. You. My friends got me this far, and together we're gonna win. Friends are nothing but a fleeting illusion. You can count on nobody but yourself. Your mask can't hide how sad and lonely you are. That it's true. Movie virtual reality of yours is the real illusion. The frick is this? I mean, he 
only became infinite because he lost his whole squad and like kept getting his ass kicked by frick that was not the right move and because he got his ass kicked by freaking shadow and he was like frick it I'm gonna go look for ultimate power Touch it. <laughs> oh. Here goes, partner. When we join the forces, the sky's the limit. Double boot. Can you shrink back to normal size now, please? S rank! Bonds of friendship! Defeated infinite! The things that can't be defeated are heart, soul, and the bonds of friendship. Three Jeez. things you and your counterfeit cronies lack. No, wait. I can still fight. Huh? You never fail to surprise me, son. I didn't believe Infinite could lose. Victory will be so much sweeter when I defeat. Don't think this is a way in, you blue nuisance! My plan just went into overtime! You know what? Why don't we just kill Eggman? We've killed plenty of people. People of our side have already died of plenty. Let's just kill Eggman. E for everyone, you guys! This is classic Sonic. Because the game needs more of him. Why is he here again? Phantom Ruby signal is moving underground. Eggman is up to something again. Doctor has given up. Don't let your guard down yet. We have to find the entrance to the central tower and stop Eggman. I killed myself. There goes my S rank. Phantom Ruby signal is moving underground. Eggman is up to something again. The doctor has given up. Can I like just quit Phantom and start Ruby over again? Is moving underground. Eggman is up to something again. The doctor has given up. Don't let your guard down yet. We have to find the entrance to the central tower and stop Eggman. Me. Last ring.
That's some kind of bull. Damn it! Frick! Underground, you dinguses. Oh, God. I'm in so much pain because of the stage right now. <laughs> I can feel my anger levels rising. That was a while. The last thing that made me mad was freaking shadows. Thing. No! I was gonna make a comment about Amy, but forget about it, right? This is starting to frustrate me. Classic Sonic, are you here just to torment me? Is that is is that like your main purpose right now? Is to anger me with this stage? It's like, oh, you know what? I heard somebody wanted to play Sonic Forces. She gets very angry and annoying platforming levels like this. So let's give her one. Have fun. Am I having fun again? I miss the feeling of fun. <sighs> I was having fun until like this stage happened. Now I'm like, frick, it's like shadow all over again with the stupid virtual reality thing. I feel like I'm losing like part of my soul or something with this freaking level. Oh boy! 
Yep. It's not like I've done this level over 50 million times. You know who cares anymore? I don't care anymore. Who cares? Ooh, like Sonic. Like we can get in through that passage. Hold on, I'll send in reinforcements right away. Wow, having two Sonics is so dreamy. Right. So I'm dead. Pretty much. Oh my god, 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 oh! You don't know what sweet relief this is. Why was that, like, rocket science for me? Like, straight up geometry for me, because I suck at geometry. Why was that so hard?
Well, final judgment sounds like the end, so I guess this last part's gonna be one humongous part. After I take a break and punch a tree. After taking some deep breaths and throwing darts at a nearby Sonic poster that I own, <laughs> I think I'm more relaxed now. God, I think that was worse than the shadow stage for me. I don't know why that was so hard for me at the end. But, you know, stuff happens and you fail many times for the internet world to see. And that was like a sneak peek of what Sonic 06 was like. I guess we're gonna kill Eggman. I mean, Infinite, Infinite looked like he was fading out of existence. So we'll assume he's dead. to jump normal it looks like I'm jumping on a blue ball Oh, I did a daily mission? Really? Well, sweet! Ooh, nice! Sonic Blaster. I mean, this has to be the end. This is this part's super long because of it. We did it! Eggman's army is officially butt kicked. We won! <laughs> Come on, now what? Can we ever just win and have that be the end of it? Look! Ooh, ah, fun! The fortress reactor was just a decoy! A true winner always keeps his front card hidden until the end. Sonic, what's going on? If there aren't less enemies, there's more! What? How can there be so many? Confirmed sightings indicate Shadow, Metal Sonic, Zabok, <laughs> Chaos, Infinite, thousands of them. What have you done? Wait, that was a version of Infinite? What the I frick happened to the original Infinite? What did you do to the Jackal? But that means the Phantom Ruby no longer has a vulnerable energy supply. It's an invulnerable Ruby? A good deduction, Ted. This Death Egg robot has 
No, I have surpassed Infinite to become the complete and ultimate form. Oh, what is with everybody in ultimate forms? But powered by the fact of Ruby, and in the end, everything will still be just as I planned. <laughs> your plan will end like all your plans do, with you sitting in a pile of busted robot parts wondering how you failed so badly. We could just Let's kill him and end this. There's plenty of murder low key done in this game. So I was like, I'll just sit back. I mean, I kind of wasn't that important in this game besides finding classic Sonic, and even he's not that important, so... He's overclocking the Phantom Ruby! That's insane! No regular tool can damage it now. Don't wait, I'm classic Sonic. Overclocking the Phantom Ruby! That's insane! No regular tool can damage it now. You're our last ch I mean... I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that part. He's overclocking the Phantom Ruby! That's insane! No regular tool can damage it now. You're our last chance. Give it your all, Sonic! You'll always be our shining hope! Just saw the freaking Dunga Rumpa for a second there. But, like, let's be honest, why is Classic Sonic our only hope? Like, you know, the actual Sonic that's helping out in the war besides Classic Sonic, the one that was held hostage for six months and tortured? How about me? But no, Classic Sonic's our final hope in this battle? Does it have to be someone from a different dimension? Uh oh, get up, get up, get up. I don't even know what I'm doing. Some hints on how to find it would be nice. Pressure again.
very good. That goes faster. Whoa. Again, whoa. So close. There you go, now it's Sonic's turn. Or me and Sonic's turn, I don't know. And the two Sonics combined. It still could be pretty awesome with just me and Sonic. I'm just saying, cause Sonic's not needed. Edge this Sonic, defeat him. Go for it, Sonic. Wisp, man. Ask for a wisp right when I die. All right. Edge this Sonic. Defeat him. Go for it, Sonic.
There's nothing the three of us can't achieve together. Victory is ours for the taking. Triple boost. Woo! That was the only reason why they brought Classic Sonic into this. For the triple boost. We saved the world! Oh my god. No! We did it! We saved the world! That was a boss fight. It took me a while to get the hang of what I was supposed to do and stuff. No, bye, Classic Sonic. Yes, this is goodbye. Get home safely, Sonic. And thanks for everything. Oh, yeah! Ha! Come on. It's okay, you have your own Sonic Tails. Cheer up, Tails. I'm sure we'll run into him again. No, please, no. All right, guys. It's time we cleaned up the mess that Eggman left this world in. And I'm not talking about those illusions he dreamed up for us. We need to fix the real world we all live in. Right. <laughs> True that. Come on. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! The true meaning of this game was to take care of your planet Earth, because the planet's gonna die if we keep littering. Sonic became Captain all Planet. It's <laughs> not the same. Finally, an end to this endless battle. Everyone can go back home and relax. There's no need for the home. resistance. Hold on. There's still a lot we need to do. We're just getting started. Hmm. Huh? What? You're leaving us? There are others who need your help. But okay, I'm not gonna stop you. Man, the first time I saw you stumbling around, I had no idea you could pull this thing together and see it to the end. I've changed my mind about you. <laughs> I knew you'd come through, rookie. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess you're not a rookie anymore. You did good out there. <clears throat> it's not like <clears throat> you just waited till the last minute to come in and act all cool to save the day. <laughs> yeah, who fixed you? Our battle is done. And our resistance has come to a conclusion. But we'll be friends forever. A single friendship bracelet cannot restore the entire world. We have to work together and make a diligent effort. Yeah. Yeah. Friendship. The hell's Sonic in all this? Oh, hey, answered. You're taking off too. I was thinking the same thing. You gonna keep moving forward, no matter what? Yeah. You and I aren't so different. Hmm. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Wait, that leaves me with so many questions. Oh, that's great. Why would I want to do that? I already beat the game. <laughs> Why would I want to do that? For funsies, I guess. Shapamo! Oh, this is like a small piece of lunch to Eggman? Maybe Eggman lives on somewhere. Oh, how nice!
This is a nice touch. The flower resembling a new beginning. We're gonna fix this place up. Alright, so, several questions. One, what the frick happened to Infinite? What happened to Infinite? He was kind of like feeding in and out of reality. And I have no idea if he like disappeared from existence or he's still alive somewhere. Two, what the frick happened to Eggman? Is he actually dead? It's like, alright, normally, from what I understand from Sonic games, because I've played a few of them, and even in Sonic Colors and Sonic 06, you kind of figure out what happens to Eggman at the end. You know, Eggman's fine, he's dandy, he's off being pissy somewhere else to make an another evil plan. Here, I have n I did not even see Eggman escape. I was even paying attention to like the credit stuff, and I did not see Eggman. I don't know if Eggman's dead also, or he's just somewhere. It's kind of weird that they didn't show you at all what happened to Eggman when they normally do. He never has like a Team Rocket blasting off again. Um... I think those were my two major questions. So, Sonic Forces. I really love the game. I feel like Sonic Forces is kind of like Sonic 06 to me. And I'm gonna explain why. So, Sonic 06 had a good story, but really, like, crappy gameplay. And I feel like if they had more time, they could have tweaked the story to be even better than it was, and fixed the broken gameplay, you know? There, there was, like, a whole bunch of room for improvement. Here, it's like, the story is good, but I feel like the pacing was kind of weird in this game. Sometimes even the cutscenes were abruptly cut off and then you start somewhere else and you're like, oh, okay, this is happening now. Kind of felt like the pacing for this game was off. Some of the writing in the game, some of the dialogue in particular was questionable and weird. <laughs> I kind of like chuckled at some of the dialogue because I'm just like, are you serious? Okay. Yes. Like Knuckles making a plan within a minute. Or his, like, war line. Knuckles had the best dialogue, honestly. Mm. Uh, what else? Oh, yes! What was the point of Classic Sonic? He had, like, maybe four stages, probably more. I just don't keep track. But he had so little stages compared to the OC and Sonic. And Classic Sonic didn't have that big of an impact to the plot besides, like, I guess... I don't know, fixing Tails? I just, I don't understand what happened there. Tails was having a mental breakdown because he failed his big brother who got kidnapped and was most likely dead. He had that mental breakdown. He just kind of broke. And then Classic Sonic comes in and Tails is back to normal. But they did have a cute reunion, Tails and Sonic. But besides that, I felt like Classic Sonic wasn't really needed in this game. You barely saw him. And like he was even like a background character too in the whole battlefield thing. He was just a background character. It's just what did he add to the story besides fixing Tails, I guess, and finding out with Tails about the Phantom Ruby? That was like all that Classic Sonic and Tails did together. They both were such background characters that I just don't understand why they wanted to bring Classic Sonic in this. I feel like this game would do just as well with just Sonic and your OC. But I guess they have the reasons. Maybe they wanted to make it kind of similar to Generations or maybe they wanted to make that Generations joke. Ha! It's been generations since I've seen you, Classic! But, yeah, I don't... I, I, like, I mumbled multiple times already. <laughs> Why Classic Sonic? Why are you here, dude? Sent you war. But I guess it's to connect Mania and Sonic Forces. I guess I have, like, a tie-in. Uh, let's see, what else do I gotta rant about this game? Well, I've already said that the gameplay is freaking awesome. Oh, making the OCs was pretty cool. You had a lot of, like... You get a lot of cool costumes, and it's cool that each character you pick had their own, like, special bonus that you get. I thought that was pretty cool. I really like that whole add an OC thing. I remember when they first announced it, it was such a big deal, and there were so many angry people about it, and I was like, 
Well, I think it's a neat idea. I know, I know, deviant artists and stuff like that with their OCs, but I mean, it wasn't that bad. It was actually really nice. Though at some moments, it did feel like a weird Sonic fanfic. But that could be what I said about the pacing. The pacing was kind of weird. I felt like... Maybe if we had a few more levels or something, they could have, like, touched upon more stuff. Because I feel like, I don't know, um... Like, the Phantom Ruby Gem. That was just a thing that, sh that the main character, well, the OC picks up. And then, it's kind of barely mentioned. It shows what it can do at one point when you fight Infinite. But then, like, afterwards, it's just kind of forgotten. Like, your OC doesn't even bother to bring it up. And then, oh, okay, the sun's falling down is about to murder us all. Look, Tails, a gem. She wasn't, my OC wasn't even going to tell anybody. She was just staring at the sun like, oh, we're going to die now. Tails was the one that told her. Like, why didn't she just tell everybody what she found? That bugged me so much. <laughs> Um, that does bugged me a lot. There's another thing that bugged me a lot in this game too. But even with its flaws, I still really love the game. It was really good. And I feel like... Like Sonic 06, there's, a, there's room for improvement if they just, I don't know, spent more time on the story. Though Sonic 06 needed to spend a lot of time on gameplay. I found a lot of bugs that have that really killed me. Bugs, glitches. So it was, oh, 06 was a hoot nanny. But. Yeah. I feel like this should have worked on the story a little bit more. Just because I feel like the pacing was kind of weird. And I would have liked more of a background story on Infinite. I feel like even with the DLC, I still don't truly understand who Infinite is. I might read the comics to see if it explains more about Infinite, like the Jackal Squad, but I don't know, dude. I just don't understand Infinite, Infinite's, like, intentions. It's just, he had a squad, he lost his squad, he got his ass kicked by Shadow, and because Shadow said one mean thing to him, he, I guess he got, like, triggered in a way that he became obsessed with getting power, and he turned himself into Infinite with the Ruby, but... I still don't fully understand Infinite. Yeah. I think that's the end of my rant for Sonic Forces. That was a rant. Whew! Those were all my thoughts! At least I probably will have more after I like spend some time off of the game, you know, like take a nap or something, be like, ah, oh, there's more things I had <laughs> issues with. Or this was another thing I really loved about the game. Oh, one thing I also loved was the fact that you could tell, you could see the the bromance between Sonic and Tails. Total bros. Yes. Well, yeah, Sonic Forces was fun. I really enjoyed the gameplay. I think my favorite part through this whole entire Let's Play was the gameplay. Every stage was fun until that one stage with a uh, classic Sonic. Oh, classic. Hmm, classic. Yeah, maybe I'll play Generations after this because the classic the classic Sonic stage is really what made me want to see how Generations is. I just hope that, you know, the reason why classic Sonic isn't Generations makes better sense than in Sonic Forces. Because I don't even know why he was here. I'm sorry. It's just, it really, I'm confused as to why they wanted to add classic. I, I feel like maybe if they took the story a bit more, they could have found the reason why classic was here. I just felt like he was here for cells or something. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the big war with Eggman and Infinite, Sonic Forces. This game was an adventure and I enjoyed it very much. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. So I will see you guys next time. And also be sure to follow my Twitter that I put in the description below. So that way you guys can know whatever Let's Play I'm doing next. So when I upload in case, you know, you don't get a notification on YouTube. Or whenever I go live, because sometimes I go live on Twitch too, and my Twitter gives all that information. So make sure to follow that and all that good stuff. And with that, I bid you all a farewell.